John Fett. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Mm -hmm. Make them unmanageable. For us. Our stock is tanking. The board <laughs> is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. the face it's gonna be. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Oh, yeah, they knocked boots. <clears throat> yeah. Please, Selena. I have yeah, to tell you how I. Bruce. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. We just had lots of good sex, though. Drop your pen. It's not. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this. Time to go batshit crazy. <laughs> See what I did there? I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. <laughs> I don't remember her saying that. She might have been. Okay. How bad is shit gonna be? You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> oh, beating the shit out of Cobblepot. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Think about it, dumbass. <clears throat> There's all the blood on the bed. Hold on. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Maybe, maybe you killed like a mouse or a bat or something. What does it say? Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Mm. What else we got? Something's right there. Let's examine it. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. It is. You're fucking crazy. This can't be real. Put it on. Eat your dinner. All right, let's go to the door. Decent. You yeah, settled? Good. good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. Mm -hmm. 
I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, great. Oh, great. <clears throat> As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Look, dude, I'm on drugs, Somebody's okay? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I'm on drugs. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. I think it is. <laughs> I love it, buddy. Oh, buddy, are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. <laughs> if we don't look out for each other, who will? Right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. Look, the new guy's tougher than he looks. <laughs> right, buddy? Bruce, Wait, are you is that a... really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. <laughs> to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. No, I'll no. do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. <laughs> I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> Sit. Sit. He's never Sit. given his name out to anybody. What? Oh. We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> love it. I fucking love it. I was hoping I get to see, like, an incarnation of the Joker in this. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. Oh, that sounds... <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! What? session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Where are you going? Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! I can't 
can't taste anything. Be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Bro, it's acting weird. What's game's glitching up a little bit. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes. <laughs> Why is everyone no, no, you, you need to let stuff. me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, Dallas! Wrong! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> some of them look familiar. But everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, oh, bro! That You've that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage. Please. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? Mm -hmm. The orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. Huh. Well, what is this? Present. He loves chaos, that's for sure. Um, cabinet. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I, I feel like I should have done stuff before I did this, but not the right key for this. Okay. Nurses station. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Okay. I saw the cookie come up. Not you. Sorry. I don't think Sorry. They, uh... It's just, it's his, it's his voice. It's Fair driving enough. me nuts. Hey, really? Wait up. Sit, sit still, buddy. Can I, can I talk to you? Billy! You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. What? Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Wait, that's the move you're going to What? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. No reason. Lewis! What are my options here? That wasn't me. I'm sane, Lewis. And that was... That was crazy, Lewis. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all. Crazy. He cheats. Every time. He cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. 
If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. <laughs> hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. Hmm. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Okay. So let's, let's talk to Zaz. Yep, Victor Zaz. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. <laughs> There's that weird... What do you know about John? The guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. <laughs> They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. <laughs> I can say. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Oh, so someone. what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. Hmm. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, hmm. yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Good asking, huh? What do you want? Uh, walk away for now. We can never do that. Not to talk to the orderly. Anyway. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hmm. He looks familiar. Alright, well, you keep your eye on him. Oh, shit. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I wanna talk? I wanna talk to him! What about you? Hello? Hello? Go away! Arnold's busy! Oh no. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Ventriloquist, I believe. What can you tell me about uh, oh, John Jesus. Doe? Oh, Jesus. Your face is gone. Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. Huh. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with uh. green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Uh. Now what? Alright, tell me more, Sako. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here, and he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So uh, unless you have something important to say, get lost! I'm just giving you a compliment, man. Now what? Hmm. Any idea what this opens? Did John get it's you just floating. Key? Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Man, this this game is glitchy as fuck. Let's ask him what the keys. Let's ask Zaz what the keys about. I have a feeling out of all of them, Zaz will probably be like the honest one. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. 
I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Oh no. Let's talk to John. Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Huh. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my hmm. Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing <laughs> Two-Faced. I thought you and the two mayor were with friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. <laughs> Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Oh, was that Rest be... assured, we will find these terrorists. Their stockpile of drugs and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. <laughs> I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <laughs> Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? <laughs> Wait. You know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'll find a way to take her down, but I'm doing it my way, hmm. quietly. Could be interesting. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though, I think we both know you could do more. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. <laughs> if those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. I mean, he's got a point. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. Hang she on. probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You hmm. didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad... Oh. Well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. <laughs> Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. 
I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls. And hmm. now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. What? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. Okay. So, I vote we get you out. How yeah. hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. <laughs> but it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! Oh, no. No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching, burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. Yeah. Stop! Someone, give me a sedative. Run, Brucey. Run. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, I'm alive. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. Mm. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. Hmm. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having huh. him here creates an unsafe environment. One way or His another. butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. <laughs> Ask the veils. Ask her parents. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> wow. 
Wow. That was awesome.